Thanks, Angus. Well, it's a busy weekend of Gaelic games with both league and senior club matches going ahead across in both codes. The All-Ireland Club hurling semi-finals took centre stage this afternoon. Semple Stadium played host to a pulsating game between De La Salle and Clarenbridge. Munster versus Connacht from Thurles, with both De La Salle and Claren Bridge appearing in their second All-Ireland semi-final. And this one was a real rip-roarer. The Desha side started the better with four unanswered scores inside eight minutes. But in what would be the game's ongoing pattern, Claren Bridge responded with six of their own. John Milan was next to catch the eye as two points levelled matters once more. In fact, the sides were tied five times in the opening period before Claren Bridge rallied to take an advantage of three to the interval. Thankfully, the second half matched the first in both excitement and quality. John Milan levelled matters once more, 14 all, 13 minutes in. With nine minutes left, it was 16 apiece. De La Salle did manage to edge ahead again, and with a three-point advantage entering injury time, it seemed the prize was theirs. But in dramatic dying seconds, Mark and Alan Kearns conspired to edge Claren Bridge in front, only for Brian Phelan to ensure extra time with the last puck of the 60. Evidence that there was really nothing between these sides today came inside a minute of extra time's first period. Mark Kearns and Owen Madigan both finding the net. De La Salle were one-point leaders at the break. There was time for one more twist, however. Ian Murphy grabbing an 82nd-minute goal to break De La Salle hearts and ensure Karen Bridge a final berth by just one single point. Joe Stack, RGE News. Well, the other side of the club hurling.